India is headed to be the top five economy of the world, but when it comes to innovation, it's nowhere close. Some data suggests it's ranked number 69. On the other hand, again, if you look at a lot of innovation outside of India is also happening through some of the uh, people behind them are Indians. So we wanted to see what would it take to create world-class innovation in India, what what was required in there. So we are working through, right now I would say, an experiment. What we felt we need to do is sort of create a role model on innovation. Can we create either an institute that's generating Nobel laureates, that's generating game-changing research leading to commercialization, leading to large-scale job creation? And we want to try that across various sectors. But the first sector that we have picked is biosciences and biotechnology. Again, there's a very large population in the country itself, 1.2 billion people. There are healthcare issues of this population that is not necessarily addressed by US and European scientists. So we felt this would be an important area. The way we are going about doing this is we have identified uh, niche sort of high impact research areas and created two institutes, one at IIT Bombay and the other one at the National Center for Biosciences. In each of these, we want to create an environment which is world class, both in terms of the facilities is, is world class compared to anything that you see around the world and equip it with the state of the art equipment. Um, so this is like laboratories. So create a lab. Two buildings have been created. These are each of them are about forty thousand square feet. Multiple scientists and principal investigators are working in it. But we want to take some very specific narrow problem and go deep. So for instance, at uh, the National Center for Biosciences in Bangalore. We are focusing on stem cell research for cardiac and neural diseases. We were able to recruit some leading faculty from around the world, uh, one from Stanford, one from University of Kyoto, to come and spend significant time with our researchers. Mm. So if you look at the, the facility is top notch, state of the art equipment, get the expertise from around the world to then integrate with the local expertise so that there is sort of knowledge transfer and culture transfer happening. So that's an experiment. The, the results are not going to come in three years or five years. So this is our 10, 15 long, year journey. Long gestation yeah. period. That is one area on innovation. The second area on innovation that we are pursuing right now is a, a customized small business innovation research program. This is a very successful program that has been running in US for a couple of decades. And a lot of other countries have adopted it and have become fairly successful. In fact, in US uh, today, there is a close to a $2 billion annual fund that is allocated to small businesses based mm -hmm. on competitive bidding on ideas and has resulted in, in very significant company generation. We have build an equivalent program, customize it for India. We presented it to the Department of Science and Technology and Department of Biotechnology in India. And now we are at the MOU stage. And the idea is, can we create, a, to start with, maybe 300 to $500 million fund that will be used for competitive selection of small businesses uh, where they drive innovation that will lead to job creation. So those are the two programs on innovation. <music>